Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am here to share, I'm here to share a video on my updated pantry. Because if y'all didn't know, I did move here last year. Uh, I moved here last year, February of 2020. So now it is January 2021. Once a year, do some changes here in this pantry area. So if y'all here for the update, then y'all know what y'all need to do. You need to keep watching. So with that being said, I am thirsty. Don't mind my look. We just came back from bowling. We went to the main event. I did film some videos. My hands are a little ashy because I've been washing my hands all day. So excuse the hands. And um, I didn't feel like changing my clothes, y'all. So what I'm going to do, I am going to turn the camera around so we can go ahead and focus on this hair pantry. Start with saying. This pantry is not 100%, but I do like what I've done with the pantry so far. And I will leave the old video in the cards and down below so y'all can go check that out so y'all can see the changes that I have made in this hair pantry. So like I said, um, things that I changed was down here. This area is different from when I first moved here so let's start with that bottom area down here I had stuff just sitting it was just sitting in no particular order I just had it sitting here and I had my water bottles just sitting in like their packaging so what I ended up doing was I moved everything out because I had my air fryer down here and I had a few other things <clears throat> down here as well was I purchased two big baskets I did get these hair baskets from TJ Maxx because as you can see I still have the tag and um, I got one basket as you can see for water and then this hair other basket is just for like extra things like um, like an overflow of things that can't fit up here on this hair second shelf down here I have rice I have some ice cream cones some chips my daughter got a cotton candy maker for Christmas. I have some soda. I have ketchup and I have um, cooking oil. And then I also have, I have cooking oil. And then I also have a container for old oil. I don't use cooking oil a whole lot because I did just get my air fryer, but I just have it because of course if you bake it, sometimes your ingredients require for you to have cooking oil bottle there. What is that bottle? Let me see. Oh, you know what? That is um, coffee cream, like coffee cream or stuff that I got from TJ Maxx. And then that thing here was for potatoes. I don't know what, but y'all, I had my potatoes in here. And one day I went to open it and it was all these little black nets flying everywhere. And I was like, what in the world? So what I did in this container now is I just keep my espresso pods in here so I'll instead of having them out because it makes this room smell like coffee so what I'll do is place my espresso pods in the inside of here which I will show you so yeah like I said I just place them in here and when they get full and when it's full I'll just take it to you know the UPS store because just me open it I just got a whiff of coffee so yeah, I put them in there. I said for now on moving forward, I'm not going to place no um, potatoes in side of here. I don't know what happened, but yeah, it was just black bugs everywhere. Moving on to the second shelf, I got these hair black containers, these black baskets from Ross. Now, in my old video, I had this like little rack thing, and then I had like little plastic basket they weren't like acrylic baskets they were like baskets I got from the Dollar Tree I didn't like that look it just was driving me crazy and and I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this area so when I was at Ross just recently I found some baskets I have some baskets I should have gotten another size of this hair basket to put in the middle so I may still do that but here in this basket I just have stuff like uh, cornbread, uh, my box of macaroni, 
I had some cheese. I got funnel cake. Um, what else? I have some um, lobster biscuits and some other things in here like um, rice and things like that. In that particular basket, this here in the second basket, I have my popcorn that I told you I get off of Amazon. So that's what I have here. And then in the back, I have some cooking oil. That's special cooking oil because it's, it's mixed with fish. And my daughter is allergic. So when I fr uh, fry me some fish or whatever, if I fry anything, fish, shrimps or anything, I usually keep the oil in a separate container because like I said, my daughter's allergic to seafood. I have this here, extra coffee. Um, she, this coffee thing that I got from TJ Maxx and it is washable. So I did wash it. So that's why I have it here. Cause I purchased another one. So here in this container, it's just a bunch of everything. I have some tomato paste. I have some coffee syrup. I have syrup, uh, peanut butter, noodles. Um, what else? I have flour. No, I don't have flour. I have powdered sugar. Um, my daughter's macaroni. I have some extra uh, salad dressing, popcorn butter, and some chicken salad and all of that. So that's what's here in this particular basket. Then moving on to this hair shelf. This hair is the same as it was when I first did my pantry. I do need to go food shopping, so that's why a lot of things are empty. But here in these two hair containers, I have oatmeal, and then I also have uh, a rack of um, grits, butter and grits. Then here was like everything. This hair basket, I would keep like all the little snacks, like cookies, crackers. Um, I have some hot cocoa spoons, some sun chips. And then here in this second, and then here in this container, I have a lot of um, cooking stuff like fish fry, chicken fry. I have my um, my smoothie mix. Like I said, I don't really like drinking smoothies in the winter time because it makes me cold. So I have a lot of these here. Seasoning packs. I have hot cocoa mix here. These here, which when I cook, I can marinate my meat. And then this here is just... This here is just where I have like some uh, extra popcorn, like movie uh, movie theater popcorn. This here I got from Trader Joe's. Uh, I have some cashews. Here's where like extra things go for snacks and stuff. So yeah, that's on that shelf. This here particular shelf is where I have our cereal. Um, I have, again, some more uh, breakfast bar. My daughter usually eat those breakfast bars. Then I have some, I think these are kind bars. Um, I have some cashews. We have raw sugar here. I have some stored at the top, but we put it here for when she wants to use it for, like, again, recipes and things like that where we don't have to always grab the big one at the top. Some granola when I'm making, um, what is it, a parfait? Or even when I eat um, just plain yogurt, I like to sprinkle a little bit of uh, granola on the top. This here is powdered sugar. This is when I make my uh, funnel cake or even when I make some waffles, I'll sprinkle just a little bit of uh, powdered sugar. This here is my daughter's funnel cake. I mean, not funnel cake. This here is her cotton candy mix. So this here is the marshmallows. I have here is for when we want to make us some hot cocoa. Here's where I was keeping a lot of my K-cups because I did just pull out my Keurig. My son called it a kegger. <laughs> but yeah, I had purchased some hot cocoa and chai tea. So this is where I was storing it, storing the extra pies because I didn't want to pull out the actual um, K-cup pie because I didn't have nowhere to put it. In the back, I just have miscellaneous things like um, Sugar packs, sweeteners. I don't use sweeteners anymore in my Nespresso's, but I just have it just in case I go and have a, um, you know, a K-cup coffee. I have some Sleepy Time tea in the bag. I think I got that from Trader Joe's. Like Chick-fil-A sauce, McDonald's sauce, whatever kind of sauce you can think of, that's what's in that little container. Here in the back, 
I have um, some extra popcorn kernels. I have cream of wheat and I have some fish fry in the back where my EXO containers are on this here particular shelf. And this, this set, I did get the 200, I think it was the 200 set. I'm not sure, but I'll try and link the set that I got down below. I did get it during Black Friday of 2019 before I moved here. Then uh, moving up at the top, I really can't pull everything down, but I do have some waffle mix. My, I have my toaster here, cause like I said, I did pull out my Keurig. And that's where I have my spaghetti noodles. But when my son came down, I gave him those cause I don't really make spaghetti like that anymore. Cause we, we you know, it'll just go to waste. A bunch of snacks. Um, here, like I said, my mom got us the graham crackers. I normally use the graham crackers and the granola to sprinkle on top of my yogurt. And then I have some fruit snacks and some Rice Krispie snacks. Those are for my daughter when she's making her lunch. She can grab uh, what she needs to put inside of her lunch box. And then in the back, uh, like I said, I have flour and sugar in my in the back area. We we'll have pancake mix here. In the back, I print those labels out and just use stickers to stick it on. I do have a Cricut, but I don't have no vinyl, so I ended up just, you know, printing something out on my computer and just use some tape to tape it. And the reason why I did that is because the flour, sugar, and pancake mix kind of all look the same, so I did have to label uh, those three. So like I said, I have a label for pancakes, flour, and sugar. And then moving on to this here basket. This is where I keep all our chips, uh, bread, and stuff like that. Let me see if I can pull this up. So yeah, I just have like snacks in here. It's not a lot because like I said, I do need to go food shopping, but that's where I normally place our bread, chips, and snacks. I want to pan down so y'all can see everything one more time and just before i finish this here section i just wanted to let y'all know those containers are worth every penny it keeps everything fresh and everything like that and like i said i truly truly love if you don't get containers are the one i highly recommend because it just makes uh pouring cereal and storing cereal a whole lot better than having a whole bunch of cereal boxes you know everywhere so i do love these cereal um, containers from that particular brand and like here moving down here like I said that's where I have all my extra snacks and things and I think far as this area I may be complete with this here area because I like the way it looked the only thing I may end up changing is that particular basket right there like I said I may end up getting the bigger size to fit in the middle so it can just look you know so everything can look even get the bigger one i'm not sure what i would do with this here popcorn one so again i'm not sure i do like this here area down below it looks way better than what i had before and moving on over here this, these are the two baskets i had i had one of these baskets down here but i ended up using them for here up top because this is where i keep my air fryer i keep our extra paper towels my uh, waffle maker my vacuum pieces, extra uh, trash bags, and my uh, KitchenAid. I didn't want to put that on the patio because again, I'm not sure when I may use it again, but I may put it on my patio because I haven't used it or touched it since I've been here because I do have a hand mixer. So I may just put that on my patio so I can you know, make more room up here. And then down below y'all, this here I got from Ikea's thing ever. Like I did have my uh, soap, detergent here at the top but once I got this I just put everything here and it fits perfectly between my washer and okay so my battery ended up dying so I have to use my cell phone you all but yeah this thing was under ten dollars and it has wheels on the bottom so yeah I did get these here from TJ Maxx and this is where I keep my bleach I did have to write bleach on here and I did get this here for my fabric softener. Again, I just printed these labels. Um, I created it off of Canva and then I printed it on a piece of paper and just cut it out and used tape. Um, 
And so I put those in here. Now you don't have to use those particular containers. You can just use the containers they came in. They come in, but I just wanted them to look cuter. And then I also wanted it to fit up here because when I buy my uh, soap powder and fabric softener, I buy like the big containers. And as you can see, they will not be able to fit up here. So I just usually take some out of the big containers and just refill these here. Uh, smaller containers. And then down below, I have some extra um, soap powder. And I do, did I get some new soap powder? You know what, that's what I need. Cause I, again, I buy the big thing of soap powder and I usually refill these and then don't have to worry about, you know, having some place to store that big container. And so here are my wash and dryers. Like I said, these here are new because um, the other wash and dryers, they were front loaders. They were front, yeah, they were front loaders. And at the time when I purchased them, uh, back in 2007, they were like the newest things out. So now y'all, I am loving these, the whole top load. I love this a whole lot better. I do wish I would have had the see-through top, but it cost an extra few hundred dollars. And I said, you know what? <laughs> I'm fine with this. The fact that it plays music and then when it stops, it'll play music. Um, yeah, so it plays music. And like I said, when the, the cycle stops, it'll play like a long little song or something. It goes for the dryer too. But let me show you. Yeah. Yeah, I love this here Samsung wash and dryer. Moving on to this side. This side is nothing I can do with. So this is gonna stay as is. Cause when I'm in here, it's like, I don't really pay no attention anyway. So this is where I keep my broom and mop. And then this here is where I keep my extra plastic bags. I'm glad I got this. I never thought to purchase something like this, but yeah, I'm glad I, I'm glad I got it. I got it from TJ Maxx. Um, I think it was back in 2019 before I moved here. Um, I did shop a whole lot before I moved, so I had a lot of things. So yeah, I did get that from TJ Maxx. I do have to clean this all because I didn't even pay attention to that. So don't mind that y'all. I gotta wipe that down. Here is where I was going to put my vacuum. I didn't pay attention to not having a cord in here, but I do not store my vacuum in here because of the fact that it's not a cord. And I didn't want to run the cord out here through the door and then over here next to the stove. So what we do is it stays in my daughter's room. Notice that I do have a plug in my bedroom closet. So if for whatever reason she doesn't want it in her room, I was gonna take that hair thing down and put it inside of my closet. It looks nice hanging up on this little station area, but like I said, I didn't realize at the time when I was putting it up that um, it didn't have a plug. So yeah, I just keep that right there for now. My laundry room, the only thing that I'm looking to do next in here is get maybe some laundry pictures. Um, I did want this long laundry picture that was at uh, Kirkland's, but I may just get something in place here on this wall since it's, you know, open a lot more. I may get something right here, not 100% sure. May get like a picture to go here, you know, just to make, you know, to close it up and look a little more homey. And so this here, this side here is the laundry area. And again, here is the pantry. Like I said, I may tweak a little bit over here, but not too much because I am pleased with what I have done over here compared to my first pantry video. So if you like this here video, please give this video a big thumbs up because y'all know it really, really helps out my channel. And also before you go, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and that notification bell so y'all can be notified each week when your girl uploads videos. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.